Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. I'm Josh Strife Hayes, and I love MMORPGs. I've played them for the majority of my life, and have spent tens of thousands of hours inside virtual worlds. So when they announced World of Warcraft was coming back, straight from 2004, I couldn't wait to play. Full disclosure, I'm not sponsored or endorsed by any company in any way. This whole video is completely my opinion. I've been playing this game solid for the last week, and now I'm happy to tell you the five main reasons you should be playing World of Warcraft Classic are. 1. Everyone is playing it. It's hard to underestimate the cultural impact the original World of Warcraft had on the MMORPG landscape. From humble beginnings as a real-time strategy, to the global titan of the world's most popular MMORPG, World of Warcraft was the gold standard, and because of this, every other MMORPG aimed to be the WOW killer, to dethrone the king and take their place as the MMORPG god. Many have tried, and a few even came close. Guild Wars 2, Final Fantasy XIV, even old school RuneScape did a good job, but none of them could knock Warcraft from its pedestal. So it's somewhat ironic that Blizzard themselves decided to step up and do the impossible. The one thing no other company could do. After 15 years, they themselves made the WoW killer. And it was none other than WoW itself. The truth is, Blizzard never believed in Classic from the start. The now infamous, you think you do, but you don't, quote, shows what the developers and designers really thought of this re-release. The potential for success was extremely small. Early reports show Blizzard expected 200,000 people to play Classic at absolute maximum. The servers and resources were allocated to just about support this. So on world release day and the few days after, conservative estimates say they were strained under the weight of over 2 million logging in to grind boars in the forest. Classic WoW absolutely obliterated all expectations and has been suffering from success. Login queues of over an hour, full worlds and more filling up daily. When this was released, there was even a queue to buy a subscription. That's a queue to pay for a queue. Even players forming in-game queues to pick up quest objectives or kill rare mobs. This truly is the most played game right now. And if you want to experience the journey through Azeroth with everyone by your side and at your level, now is the time to join. Number two, it's about the journey, not the end game. I've been playing almost non-stop since release. I'm a human mage over on the Nogginfogger PvP server, and I'm level 17. Now to many MMORPG players, the very idea of playing for a week and not being max level endgame raiding is just unthinkable. But bear with me, and let me change your mind about why this is actually brilliant. World of Warcraft Classic is a slow game. Experience is hard to earn for the average player. And while yes, the world's first level 60 and Ragnaros and Anixia kills have already happened, for the average players like you or I, we'll be taking our time and experiencing the world. Combat is slower, mobs are tougher, quests give less experience, the level cap is 60 instead of the current retail of 120, and all this is absolutely okay, because we managed to finish the dead mines with a level 14 mage and a level 16 warrior tank. I know this because I was that mage, and my friend Wraith was that tank. Levels in this game are all achievements, whether it be level 2 or level 60. There is always something to do in the game without being at the end game. Classic really does harken back to the days when an adventure was about the path you were taking, not the place you were going to. It's the same mentality as Lord of the Rings, tabletop Dungeons and Dragons, or cheesy adventure films like Pirates of the Caribbean or The Mummy. The journey you go on, the people you meet, and the enemies you kill are the game. Ragnaros, for all us average players, will be this ancient, unkillable evil for months, and that's fine. It creates this atmosphere of actual danger and slow-paced progress that truly feels rewarding 
every time you level up or find a new item. You won't want to rush to 60. That's not what Classic is about. And if you're thinking, no one will take you to dungeons unless you're higher level or have better gear, then drop me a PM in game to name Josh Strife. Me and the guild will happily run a dungeon with you. Number three, the faction rivalry is back. World of Warcraft contains so many stories and legends, myths and monsters, but there's one main part of this game that overrides all of that, and that's quite simply Alliance versus Horde. The Alliance are the shining paragons of justice and virtue and believe in order and organization, some would say to a fanatical degree. And the Horde are the traveling nomadic tribes of what some would say less civilized creatures who value freedom and just want to exist. Now, for the retail game, every single expansion without fail has caused the Alliance and the Horde to unite, team up against a greater evil. The Lich King, Deathwing, Pandas, whatever Battle for Azeroth was about, every single one pulls the same tired, lazy storytelling technique of put aside your differences and team up against a greater evil. Not here. Not in Classic. Pick a side, fight for it. With only two major land masses to travel to and from, you're bound to bump into the other side sooner or later. And with nothing to bring you together as frenemies, you're free to destroy the other side as you see fit. Returning to a simpler time has a certain elegance to it, a beauty only found in the most direct of choices. Alliance versus Horde, us versus them, you versus me. It's uncluttered, it's direct, it's the essence of world PvP. Pick a side, fight for them. Nothing more, nothing less. Number four, it's a more mature player base. The original World of Warcraft came out in 2004. As of this video, that's 15 years ago. That means anyone playing back then now has 15 years of new experiences in life. 15 years to mature and chill out. And now with so many of them coming back, it's created one of the most mature communities in any MMORPG. Now before you jump down to the comments and tell me about the childish griefer you met in a low level zone, I'm going to say straight away, they are the exception and not the rule. Every area right now has an active chat. Players are running by and buffing other characters as they go. Even the famous Reddit Bagman has been handing out free bags to new players. It's a game played right now by people who have been through that young, angry, edgy stage and just want to return to a world they love or experience an adventure they never had. And it's creating a well-rounded, accepting and mature player base. MMORPGs have long suffered from toxic players, which can vary all the way from offensive people trying their best to get a reaction from you, to impatient DPS running ahead of the tank and pulling the entire dungeon. The game design choices of World of Warcraft actively punish these behaviours, but not through any sort of staff intervention, but through the requirement for working with other people and being a kind person. Quests are tough alone. Dungeons are impossible solo. You will not be able to survive in this world by yourself, and you'll very quickly find out who you do and do not want to work with. Those lazy, rude, or impatient players who want the world to revolve around them and expect the game to be easy will quickly fall by the wayside and return to simpler, more forgiving games. And I personally couldn't be happier about that. I don't have anything against someone wanting to speedrun a dungeon or blitz through a quest line without reading it, but that's not classic. It's not the experience it's going for, and it's not the experience you'll have. This game absolutely demands teamwork, tactics, and mature discussion of how to beat every challenge it will throw at you. 5. It's immersive and difficult. Video games are an escape, and the world of Warcraft is both huge in scale and rich in history. It's created books, games and films, and allows players to truly immerse themselves in it if they want to. 
and if you choose to play Classic, you'll have no choice but to be immersed. The quests you'll accept have no sparkly trail leading you to your destination. No map markers, no hints, no tips. All the info you'll need will be in the quest text, and you'll have to read it and work the rest out for yourself. When your equipment breaks, and it will, you'll have to hunt down a local blacksmith to fix it for you. When you level up and unlock new skills, you won't immediately have access to them. You'll need to return to your class trainer and spend your hard-earned silver to buy them. The Gryphon transportation system will be what you use for the majority of the game. If you want food, you'll have to find a mage. If you want to run a dungeon, you'll not only have to find and put together the group yourself without the aid of a group finder, you'll then have to physically travel all the way to the dungeon entrance. This small but vital part of the dungeon experience adds a sense of journey to the whole thing and can mean running one or two dungeons a day is literally all you get done all day. Modern MMORPGs have replaced difficulty with convenience. Systems such as group finder tools or map markers to guide the way. I've talked about this before in other videos and while they do make the game easier and faster paced, they remove something magical the soul of exploration and discovery. Classic makes the brave choice to throw us back to the dark ages of game design. No help, no hand-holding. It's a brutal, unforgiving world, and it's yours to conquer if you are smart and tenacious enough to do so. Removing the easy mode of retail has taken us from the World of Warcraft theme park we've been forced to play and placed us back in Azeroth, the real world of Warcraft. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. If you're enjoying playing Classic WoW, or if you disagree with anything I've said, let me know in the comments below. Or if you want to be a beautiful person, you can click like or subscribe for more MMORPG news and updates, and ring the bell to be notified of any future videos. You're welcome to come and join us on Discord, link in the description below, or catch me on Twitch over at twitch.tv forward slash Josh Strife Hayes. Thank you for your time and have a great day.